okay, Warren, uh, a point on the board, uh, but is it another case of missed opportunities? Maybe it could have been more? Yeah, a bit frustrated, to be honest. I think the players, you can see in their faces in the change room, they're all disappointed. Um, you know, at times I didn't think we got going today, but, you know, I said to them that we didn't lose the game, which is the big thing. Um, I was here last year. Started to see we'd lost that game, but f- full credit to them. Said the positive, you got back in, then you didn't get beat. And uh, as I said, they, look, they're fighting for their lives down there, chipping them with decent draws with Hamill, Ebbs Fleet. We knew it was a difficult game, but um, I think they won a couple of chances in the first half if they go in. Um, makes it a little bit comfortable for us, you know, Payne's one hits a post, and uh, I think there's one fizzed across the, the front. And then at the second half, out each a great, probably hit it too well. Um, but you know, give, give a sloppy goal away. I think we didn't react from the rebound off miles. Um, but as I said too, we uh, the positive we didn't get beat. Those are the sort of games that are really harder to approach, and that they do get scrappy, don't they? The teams that are fighting for their lives, they make it difficult to break down, and and we saw that today. It was a bit stop start again in the second half, and you know when, when teams are fighting for their lives, it, it becomes an even bigger task to try and overcome. Them. No, definitely. You know, people just think you're going to turn up and beat teams like this. No disrespect, they were in the playoffs last year. Um, they've got great great coaching staff, um, and as I say, they're fighting for their lives, and you know people just think. Oh, we'll turn up and beat be chipping them, but there's no easy game in this league, and you can get complacent. Um, and as I said, you look frustrated, but as I said, you pleased with that we didn't get beat and got back in the game. And another day, as I said, the chances might have went in, but uh, we've got to make sure and put that right on Tuesday. There was a big penalty shout uh, midway through the second half. Stephen Payne looked like he got a shove when he won his header. Did you get a view on that? Looked like it was a definite shove. Um, I just says, why would you go down? You know, Penny should be running away celebrating her. Um, he got himself in front of the centre back, and as he's jumped up, the boy's been cute. And he's nudged him, and you know, I said to the to the linesman, and he just goes, "It all I couldn't see it from where I am, but I think every, everyone else did." Um, but as I said, that's what happens whenever whenever uh, you get the decisions. Look, I feel a wee bit sorry for Amer as well. He picked up a yellow card today for a great tackle, um, and, and and you know, people can say we're this and we're a dirty team and we do this and we do that, but don't. It was a great tackle, but only won the ball, and it just frustrates me because that's another yellow card for the kid, and uh, that's a disappointing thing. I guess we're becoming quintessentially that mid-table team, aren't we? With the draws, the wins, and the losses, I think it's pretty much equal now, which means we drew a win for the next one. If you look at the if you look at the numbers, but but I guess this is this is you know what 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 the plan was. I guess you know we are looking up rather than down, and and there's more positives to take really. No, one hundred percent. You know, I said at the start of the year, also wants a team competitive and a team to be. If I took mid-table, it'd be absolutely delighted stability because. I was speaking to a fan before the game and he was absolutely spot on. He said to me, I don't know what people want. He said, you know, when he got relegated out of this league last year, until you come in. And he said, it's not a quick fix. And I think, look, people have opinions, people can get carried away. But the real football people know um, that we're building something here, we're moving forward. And look, the half players gutted after a game, which we never had last year, um, when I come in. Um, there was an acceptance. There's no acceptance now. You know, and as I say, back those boys, and we're we're moving in the right direction to be what eleven points clear the the, the drop zone. Um, as I said to you, and what 15, 12, 15 off the playoffs in, in your first season with 15, 14 games still to go, you just snap people's hands off. Um, I think probably people's expectations from starting so well, but seasons aren't or titles aren't won in the middle of uh, or in the first eight games. You, you look at Absolute; they've been here for the last what three, four years. They'll go up as champions, rightly so. But where we are, we're building forward. Um, and as I say to you, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with uh, the way it's going. Once again, with the games coming thick and fast, an immediate opportunity uh, to get a result uh, on Tuesday. Back here again, the third third home game on a spin, which is nice. Uh, but uh, another tough game, Hemel Hempstead. What do you expect from that? No, listen, they're a tough game. You know, they've they've, they've, they've uh, picked up a good few good results lately. They've uh, you know an old coaching staff in here. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. Um, but uh, as I said to you, it's like any game. But I can I can go and uh, relax tomorrow and watch uh, watch Rangers. Hopefully, lift the cup against Celtic, um, and then I'll be up the derby with my, my wee boy. So uh, I'll switch off for uh, for twenty four hours only, and then back on the Hamill game. And uh, just finally, a couple of injury concerns this week. Obviously, Taylor Curran went off on Tuesday night. Uh, Taylor Maloney's been missing for the last couple as well. How are they looking ahead of the games coming up? No, look, we've had a couple of boys as well with niggles and a couple with the flu. We've had to get off the sick bed, but fingers crossed we'll have we'll have majority, if not all of them, um, 
available for Tuesday. Thanks, Warren. Thank you.